system of governance. That's us. But he went on to quote in Isaiah, for unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Does anyone come to your mind? And there will be a new heaven and a new earth, and the former things shall pass away. Right? Yes. It's time for our rise. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. It's time for us to unify and bring in this new spiritual system of government, which is Islam, which means submitting your entire will to do the will of Allah. Right? Yes, ma'am. It means peace. Right? Yeah. We are living in the decline of this civilization. When you look at the devil, the son of God, when they take when they took the article Minister Louis Farrakhan off of social media, you're looking at the works of the devil. Yeah. They don't want us to unite. The only thing the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is doing is teaching our people and training them the knowledge of God. His proper name. The teaching us who the devil is yeah. and the enemy of the God and the righteous. He's teaching our people the religion of God, which is Islam. Take it or let it alone. Go ahead. You don't have no leaders in Christianity standing out there in the highways and byways like the FOI and now the yes. AGT. Go ahead. We don't have no leaders other than the God of the Ourselves. Is that right? Yes, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has elevated our moral standards. Come on. Some of us was on drugs. Come on. Some of us was, like Brother Merlin said, laying in the street face down. Come on. Some of us are still laying in the street. Come on. But when you hear that word, something pops up in your mind. A light turns on. A glow comes over your face. Go ahead. You start to stand with the righteous. Yes. You start to learn the knowledge of yourself, the knowledge of God. You start to feel good about yourself. Come on, now. When the devil tried to make us three-fifths of a human being, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came back and said, you are the original That's man and woman, right. the Asiatic black That's man and woman, right. the makers, the owners, the cream of the planet Earth.
messenger of no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. Yes, I right. greet my brothers and sisters with the greedy words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How's everybody feeling? Fine, sir. All praise is due to Allah, dear brothers and sisters. God gave us another day. Yes, he did. He gave us another day, brothers and sisters. And if you and I read the Bible and we read the Quran and we read about all those prophets and all those messengers who came in the line of divine, you and I are living in the fulfillment of that time. We are following a man that's right in the line of divine in the honorable right. minister Louis yes, Farrakhan. So brothers and sisters, it's a distinct honor and privilege Go just ahead. to have the opportunity to stand before you to say that I represent Go the honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, brothers and sisters. Right. So brothers and sisters, we have a wonderful program set up for you and I today. We got some of the powerful ministers in the in the area Go going ahead. to share some words with you and I today. But before we get to that, they try, they try. They try. They try. They try. They can't do it though. Go ahead. They try it though. They tried to they ban tried. the album ministry Go ahead. far cut. But I'm I'm far cut. Far cut. And they ban the album ministry far cut. Far cut is in every one of us. Ain't nobody else can teach it. Ain't nobody else teaching like minister far cut is teaching. You and I should be standing for far cut today. You and I should be all over social media today. Let everybody know we stand with far cut. Ain't nobody teaching like far cut. Ain't nobody willing to stand like that. Come on. All praise is due to Allah. Sir. Go ahead, Jesus. That's right. I gotta slow down. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You're all right. You're all right. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, Jesus. Three on. But, brothers and sisters, I have the distinct honor and privilege to bring to this roster seat. Minister Farrakhan is saving lives. Come on now. See, many of us, if you knew our story, huh. you would say all praise is due to Allah. Allah. Huh? Come on. We, have, we would be so thankful for the hour of Elijah Man. Muhammad and Minister Louis Farrakhan. If you just heard our individual story Man. about where we were when we heard this man, what we were doing when we heard Man. this man. Man. We was in the muck and the mire. We was in the streets. We was in the dirt, man. Come on. And a man saved our life. But I want my man to share with you a little bit about where he came from when he heard this man. That is, I mean, he ain't no punk in him. Come on, come on. See, everybody else didn't bow down, man. Come on. I used to say Minister Farrakhan was the boldest black man on the planet. Hell, he just the boldest man on the planet. Go ahead. Because he got a God back in him. Right. So I want you to put your hands together. I want you to show some love come on. for our brother who's Bringing up our people out in the Antelope Valley. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know if y'all ready. Come on. See, here's a man who's following in his footsteps of the album Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, so we should show some love. Yes, sir. See, it's not an easy job. Yes, but I want you to show some love and bring to this roster with a big warm round of applause our dear brother, brother Ansar Muhammad, school minister out of the Antelope Valley. Bring him on. Yes, I'm almost in tears. Come on. Yeah. Listening to our student minister, Brother Jason Muhammad, because I remember a time, come on, come on, 21 or 22 years ago, when I didn't know if I would get released from a federal penitentiary. Come on, come on, come on. But I was blessed to get released. That's right, sir. And I was in Long Beach with our brother minister, Jason Muhammad, being taught and trained. So Forgive me for the emotion. No, go ahead. Go ahead. This year, I'm rock down right here. Well, well, well. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, who appeared to us in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad, the long-awaited Mahdi for the Muslims. He also had another hat on that he had transferred. He is the long-awaited Messiah as well. We thank him for his coming and raising up in our midst a Georgia-born black man, 
by the name of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He is the exalted Christ. He is the one who is in power to crush this wicked enemy. We thank the both of them in this late hour for giving to us the best example that not only black people can have, but all of humanity can have. And the good news is he's come from our stock. He come from us. Go ahead. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. It is in their names, brothers and sisters, praise be to Allah, that we stand before you and we greet you in the original language that we used to speak of Assalamu alaikum. I would be remiss in my duty if I didn't thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for his leadership, but more importantly for giving to us a student regional minister a man who is mentoring me in this beautiful ministry in the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. Many of you know him as Brother Tony Muhammad, <laughs> but he is no longer under that name. He is now the regional student minister, Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. I would be remiss if I do. Yes, if I didn't pay homage to this man, because if you look at him properly, you see a renewed spirit. Yes. Yes. And if we see a renewed spirit in our regional student minister, those of us who's under his leadership should also be found with a renewed spirit. Yes, sir. If our spirit is not being renewed in this hour, we have fallen asleep. We have fallen asleep like those who was with our beloved brother Jesus 2,000 years ago. This is not the hour for us to be sleeping. Matter of fact, our eyes should be wide open in this hour because the devil, Satan, is being exposed. And you know who's exposing Satan? God himself. So today, we must pay close attention to the keynote address. Not just to say, go ahead, brother Abdul Malik, but to get up and go to work. That's right. This trial is not on the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He is well protected by the true and living God, the Supreme Being himself. That trial, or this trial is on us, who is still kind of not sure if what we're looking at is the risen Christ. Still not sure if what we're looking at is Jesus himself. Come on, make it absolute. And if most of us close our eyes right now and I ask you, give me the image of the Jesus that we know. He's not gonna look like the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan yes, because we was raised up in church houses uh -oh. and we know in the church houses what color Jesus appeared to be. But what we're looking at in the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is a manifestation of the real Jesus. And what you're looking at in the nation of Islam is the manifestation of the body of Christ itself. So now is not the time to go to sleep. There was a conversation in the book of Revelation. How many of y'all even read your Bible? Most of us don't because we couldn't understand the fairy tale language. That's it. Right. But if you get the message to the black man and then read your Bible, you will have an understanding of what it's all about. But there was a war that took place in heaven. How many of y'all familiar with that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Michael and his angels Go ahead. went to war with Satan and his imps. It didn't say in hell. I always ask myself, how did. Satan get up in heaven. <laughs> you teach. Go ahead. With a host of angels to fight with him. Come on. Wait, up? The good news, family, is Michael and his angels won that war. That's right. Now let me break it down so you can understand in my understanding of it. That Michael is Master Bob Muhammad himself. Go ahead. The one who set up this beautiful nation called Islam. Yes. And those angels that's in that particular book, it's us. And the chief of the helpers, the chief of the angels, 
is Farrakhan himself. Yes, sir. And oh, yeah. if we pay attention, yes, if we pay attention to him, it's not him that's speaking. Yeah. Mm. Talk about the God. Did y'all hear me? See, we don't believe in the nation of Islam. We don't believe in spooks and spirits. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. We believe that everything is real. Go ahead. Mathematics is Islam, Islam and Islam is Mathematics. Mathematics. So when you hear the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, you're not just listening to a minister. He is the voice of God himself. And the good news is this, the whole world now is tuning in. So we can say Facebook banding, but it's not really Facebook. Come on, come on. Because those people don't control their thoughts. That's right. God himself is in control of this particular time frame that we're living in. The question is, why did God allow Facebook and the executive directors and the executive owners, whoever these people may be, why did God put it on their brains to ban our ministry? Good question. Because they already know they can't get to him. Right. But those of us who's falling asleep, those of us who's getting weak in faith, come on, those of us who's not being patient in this hour, can break rank and will break rank. Because this war that we in, it's not physical in a sense. No, sir. Matter of fact, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that a day is going to come. Right. Come on. To where we're going to be able to wrap this white man around our pinky finger. Come on. And won't even realize he's there. Come on. Did y'all hear me? Yes, sir. So this is not about a physical war in a sense. The minds of our people. Yes, sir. Who's controlling the masses, the minds right now? Come on, think about that. It's the social media. Come on, it's those behind Hollywood. Yeah. It's those that, when we turn our TVs on, the executive, you look at the credits, you'll see them. Right. But we don't even look at the credits. Right, right. We, we're concerned about the content of the movie. That's right. But at the end of the day, they know that communication is nine tenths of war. Come on, but do we know it. this? Come on. We don't even know how to communicate with one another effectively. So today, before we bring up our regional student minister, I'm going to ask that we settle all differences in this house. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. That's my message today. That we, the nation of Islam, the allies, the supporters, go ahead. settle all differences in this house. Because when it's time to go, i got to make sure me and bro just airtight. Go ahead. Go ahead. When it's time to go, sisters, y'all got to make sure the sister on the left, the sister on your right, is there a time? Go ahead. Go ahead. We got to be speaking with one voice. Mm. We got to be one mind, right. one body, yeah. one soul yes, sir. with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. Now, when you read about those who fell asleep on the Jesus of 2,000 years ago, ask yourself this question. Come on. Are you falling asleep mm. on the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan? Or are we wide or woke, woke right now? Are we paying attention? Are we walking our posts in the perfect manner, keeping always on our alert? Are we backbiting and slack talking one another? Think about it. Think about it. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. I just had to come this way because I don't have no notes in front of me. So I'm asking the spirit. I'm asking a lot to, to use me to speak to his people. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, I can attest to this. Before I came into the nation, I was a complete mess. <laughs> so if they come knock on my door, by the way, I know what it feel like when the feds show up, because I've been in the feds. But if they ever come and question me, so give me your opinion on Farrakhan. I better tell them like this. Before I met this man, I was gangbanging. I was using drugs. I was selling drugs. I didn't care about nobody but the hood that I was representing called Finish Show Line. That's it. Come on. But when I met this man, I began to fall in love with myself, and I began to fall in love with my people. Yes, when I met this man, I didn't go to an AA meeting, or an NA meeting, or any kind of meeting like that. I fell into the ring of the F.O.R. Yes, I did. And Brother Minister Jason knows this. I didn't miss a meeting. So if you need a rehab, brother, fall into the ranks of the F.O.R. You need a rehab, sister. Go ahead. Fall into the ranks of the MGT. Come on. And I tell this story over and over again because it wasn't nothing that cleaned me up but the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. And some would say, well, brother, you don't even look like you participated in that lifestyle. Go ahead. Praise Go ahead. be to Allah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I remember the day. 
Yes. I remember the days that I thought I'd always be a gangster. Yes, sir. I thought I'd always be a hustler. And I never thought I could do anything worthwhile that was positive. Mm. But praise be to Allah yes, for the nation of Islam and the honorable minister of Farrakhan mm -hmm. leadership. Come because on. now your brother's sober and clean. Come on. Over 20 something odd years. <laughs> and ain't look back. Ain't so no talk. Ain't had no gun on me. So when they show up, I'm going to tell them that story. Yeah, yeah, well, no further. Do. Let me bring up my brother. I'm going to tell them that. Y'all got stories too, right? Yes, sir. So when they knock on your door, we don't shrink. That's right. Don't get afraid. Stand tall. Go ahead. Matter of fact, tell them yes. Tell them your old self, but tell them the part of you that's becoming a god. Go ahead. This beautiful mosque is a hospital. Yes, sir. Yes. Ain't none of us right up no, in no. here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But we got a standard barrier in this day. We got a standard to look up to. We got somebody to measure our good. And that man is the Honorable Minister Lewis Fair. If I can just be a part of his hymn down below here, go ahead, go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. Not to mention, some of us is going to be the brain. Some of us is going to be the arms and the legs. Remember the body of Christ. So thank you all. I love you. And we up in the Antelope Valley. Y'all know some people up in Palm Dillon that Castle? Yes, sir. We up in there getting it done. Go ahead. Okay, we ain't looking back. So wherever you come from, Master the Wild Muhammad works like this. I'm going to raise you up, but I'm going to pray. I'm going to put you back in front of the people. Go ahead. Go ahead. So don't shrink in this hour and don't fall asleep. Let's keep our eyes open. Yes, sir. And most importantly, don't let nobody get in your ear. Go ahead now. With negativity toward the Honorable Minister Lewis Ferris. Right. Yes, sir. And most importantly, don't let nobody get in your ear as it relates to our regional student minister. Come on, sir. Brother Abdul, Abdullah, Ma Malik. I knew I would mess that up, <laughs> but I'm going to get it right. Brother Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. Yes, sir. With no further ado, I'm going to bring to you my friend and my minister, Brother Student Minister Jason Muhammad. I should not believe that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Boy, I got the distinct honor and privilege come on, come to on. bring to this roster our hard driving soldier. Come on. Y'all didn't hear me. Y'all didn't hear me. I'm talking about a hard driving soldier. Y'all used to know him as Brother Student Minister Robert Muhammad. That's how you used to know him. But God the Messiah raises God, man. He's being exalted right in front of our faces. I want you to put your hands together and show some love for our brother out of, out of Compton, California, Brother Abdul Musta <laughs> Today. Are y'all all right? Yes, sir. We're here today. 
brothers and sisters, to show to the world that whenever you disturb a hornet's nest, uh -oh. Uh -oh. well, the Holy Quran got a surah called the bee. Yeah. And bees are busy making bee honey. Go ahead. They don't care nothing about what you're doing, but they are trying to build something. Go ahead. But if you disturb the bees' nest, then the bees got to come out to fight. So I don't hear you today. Go ahead. But we're here because we have been disturbed. Yes, sir. You disturbed our leader. Go ahead. So you disturbed all of the Muslims in North America. Go ahead. And so we're here today. Go ahead. In ranks, in cities. To let the enemy know to leave our leader alone. Y'all all right today? Now listen. You might not record this yet because it might take you a little while to get warmed up, but I'm already on fire for Allah. When you think about how good Allah has been to us, it don't take you long to give Allah some praise. I can't hear you talk. Some of us could have been dead. Some of us could have been locked up. Some of us could be in the hospital. But Allah got us here today. So we said, Allah who I call. Allah who I call. Allah who I call. Jesus said. Minister. Come on. Because now 
Allah is raising him yes. in front of you in my eyes. Yes. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Oh, hypocrites, we don't give a Come damn on. about you. Disbelievers, we don't give a damn about you. Naysayers, we don't give a damn about you. But if you love your brother like I love him, do you love him? Yes, sir. Do you love him? Yes, sir. Do you want to hear him? Yes, sir. Stand to your feet and let us receive our minister, Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum. that one who is the creator of all things and to him who is the revealer of all great and sacred truth. Dear family, I don't care how old any of us get to be in this wicked world's life. There is not one person in this room that could thank Almighty God enough for not even one of his servants. We talking about that God who is the creator of all things. What a magnificent God. And I know, brother, every day our open enemy. I didn't say behind your back enemy. Right. He's so open you can't even see him. Man. Uh, huh? To our open enemy and to our closed eyed people. We thank Allah for this magnificent creation because our enemy is working day and night to get black people and brown people not to even believe in a God. In fact, he's making you so into yourself, you beginning to think you the God. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. I don't need no God. I'm my own man. Right. Straight liar. Yeah. You your own man and woman? Let me ask you a question. Come on. Are you self-created? No. See then right there that disqualifies you. Go ahead. Huh? But we thank God. More white folks messing with you. <laughs> Sorry. You must know the rolling sixties up in here. Go ahead. And the A-Train gangsters. Go ahead. Come on. Huh? The Inglewood family up here. They hate it when we come right. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we gonna give them something to hate after the day. So we could never thank Allah enough for Abraham. Abraham, brothers and sisters, lived at a time similar to the day mm, right. yes, sir. when people was taking statues, mm, mm. stones, mm. Yes. and images and making it a God beside God. That's right. huh? yes, sir. We're doing that today. Come on, come on. The Christians is holding your cross like 
if you were on a plane and it's at 33,000 feet and you start getting turbulence. I don't know why you grabbed the cross. <laughs> you better grab what them flight attendants told you to grab. <laughs> If that plane falls at 33,000 feet, you better start texting your loved one. But during Abraham's time, they had these statues and these stones. People began to think that they was a God beside God. I, I'm watching this particularly with my brown brothers in the Catholic Church. Go ahead, go ahead. Kissing statues. Kissing stones, but refuse to kiss a human being. Come on. Think about that. So one day, Abraham went into the temple and pushed all the little statues down, and the people was upset. But he left the big statue, the big God. And when the people came in crying about the statues, and Abraham simply asked them, said, well, Ask the big God who did this. Right. <laughs> Many of us today now are beginning to make our entertainers and our athletes God Come beside now. God. Come on now. Huh? Yes, sir. We thank God for Moses. Boy, yes, we need a man like Moses today. Right. Yes, sir. Do you know, brothers and sisters, that Moses was told by God to take the slaves away from Pharaoh. Yes, 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 yes. Moses had to go to Pharaoh like we need to go to Trump today and say these words, let my people go. Yes, straight up, straight up, come on. Why did he tell them to let them go? Because under Pharaoh, the slaves could not get any freedom. Right. Question. Black man, do you have freedom in America? No, no sir. sir. Come on, be honest. No, no sir. You, you have a type of freedom. Man. You have the freedom to help the clans man. by killing black people. Man. Right. Think about oh, y'all, y'all. Think about, about that. Why? Come Think on, about that. First up. Mm. Let me ask you a question, brothers. If you kill white people in a drive-by the way you kill black people, do you think they would let you do that? In fact, they'll shut the whole hood down. Do you get any justice in America? Any equality? No, sir. We need a man like Moses today. We thank God for the best and most perfect reflection that God dwells inside a man. Mm -hmm. That man is Jesus Christ. Go ahead. What? Muslims believe in Jesus? Come on, make it plain. See, brothers and sisters, you're so ignorant. Mm -hmm. Who told you we didn't believe in Jesus? Right. See, that's who you need to go back to and right. check. Right. <laughs> The Islamic world is not waiting on the return of Muhammad. We are waiting on the return of God and the Christ coming together. But the white man have sold you a Jesus who's soft. Y'all think Jesus is going to come back being easy on you, huh? No, he's coming with a soul. So we thank God for Jesus. We thank him for a man that God revealed a book titled the Holy Quran. Brothers and sisters, if you are black or brown, this book, the Holy Quran, was a book that many of our ancestors read before coming into slavery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Y'all didn't know that? Go ahead. That's interesting. 
You don't go to history class? Oh, I'm sorry. The history you get, it, it don't go past George Washington. Right? Come on. And some of you Negroes, you even hate learning about black. Go ahead. Now, I'm not calling you a Negro. Come on. If you got upset about that, you might be. If I said the word Negro and you got upset. Then maybe that means right, come on. You suffering from niggerdom. Right. That's a Cat Williams word. <laughs> Many of our ancestors were Muslims. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fact. And the founding fathers of this country said to their predecessors, whatever you do to the Negro, don't allow him to think. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening? Yes, yes sir. sir. See, when the streets get this, they know it's over. Right, oh, right. Yeah. Come on. Right. Don't allow them to think. What two things, white man, did you take from us that you know if we got back, it would make us a whole human being? Mm -hmm. huh? Remember, after 64 years, it took to break you. That's right. It took 64 years to break us, brothers and sisters, because when we came to America, we had our own name. We had our own language. We had our own religion. Yes. Go ahead. But the white man raped us, Come on. robbed us, Go ahead. murdered us, Come on. beat the hell out of us for how many years? Four hundred years. Yes, sir. Yes, Let sir. me ask you a question. Psychologically, when you take a butt whipping for that long, what do you realize happened to the psyche of that people? Yes, sir. Huh? Come on. Come on. Sister, let me ask you a question. When a man abused you for just a few months, Come on. what has it done for your psyche when he told you you ain't nothing? You ain't gonna be nothing without me. Don't nobody want you. And then he beat you with his hand, knowing that every time he hits you and a word comes out of his mouth, that's called hypnotism. Right. And in order for you to survive it, you have to go into agreement with an aspect of it. Mm. And that's why when far I mean Jesus comes, he come to break your agreement with hell. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So we lost everything. But God as I say to the preachers, I ask the pastors, when I read the Bible and I read the Quran, God saw everybody suffering. God is omnipotent, meaning that he knows what was, he knows what is, and he also knows what's coming. He calls that Prophecy. So when I sit with the clergy, I ask this one question, and you should go back and ask your pastor. After he finished his chitlin. When he finished that pork chop, ask him this question. Did not God and the prophets see black people, Native Americans, and the brown man being abused and enslaved by Caucasian people. All right. Come on, think about that. You know what that pastor's gonna say? Absolutely. God knows everything. Then say, show me in the Bible where it's written. Come on, come on. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So I thank God. For it is written in the book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 5, where God said, This day has thou prepared a body that I may enter. Mm. What? <laughs> Come on. 
See, there you go again. You playing? Come on. Let me ask y'all a question. Yes, sir. Did the white man enslave us? Yes. How many of us believe that? Raise your hand. Did we ever go into slavery? Yes. Yes. Some of y'all didn't raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the, they said we. We. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Did he take our name? Yes, sir. Did he take our language? Yes, sir. Did he put us in chains? Yes, sir. Indeed. Did he make us work from can't see in the morning to can't see at night? Yes, sir. Sister, when the white man wanted to, could he come into the hut, ask your man to get out and just rape you while your man is standing outside the door? Yes, sir. Interesting. So if he took our name, our language, and would not let us read, it was against the law to read. So now we're here to tell you something he refused to tell you. The white men, the wise ones of them, they know that God is a man. See, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Yes, sir. Look at us. How can God not be a man? If God is not a man, then why do you call him him, he, and him? Why do you say when he comes? If he's not a man, don't use the personal pronoun he. If he's nothing, call him it. When it comes. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Let me clear that up real quick for you. Please. For those of you who don't read the Bible, but you got one. <laughs> and if you don't have a Bible, the next time you're in the hotel, just take that. <laughs> right. right. It's called Gideon. Get it. Get it. Go to the book of the beginning, called the book of Genesis. Yes. Right. See, if you just go there, right. God's talking about in the beginning. Right. Huh? Yeah. So Genesis, first chapter, 27 verse, God says to a group, after he had created the sun, moon, star, the fish of the sea and the fowl of the air, God was speaking to a group of people. Then he turned around and said, let us. Wait a minute. Let us make what? Man. Man. Us. Come on. First of all, who is this us that God is talking to? Then he said, let us make a what? A man. Then he said, let us make him in what? Our image. Wait a minute, God. White people told me you didn't have an image. See, that's why we fell in an America because everybody else believed that God is a man except the black and the brown and the red. Go ahead. Yes, he told that. So the white man have made you and I suffer from the white God syndrome. We even believe God is a white man. It's okay to believe he's a white man, but you better not ever see him as a black man. Go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. How you gonna make him God? In our image and after our likeness. But the Holy Quran says it different. That God created Adam out of what? Black mud. Come on. See, God is telling you the material that he likes. Right. Yeah. To make the best of his creation, he's using black. Because black is not a color. No, sir. Black is the essence from which all color comes from. He make you and I hate black. Mm. Oh, come on now. So God said, in the Holy Quran, I created Adam out of black mud and then I fashioned him into shape. Then I breathed into Adam of my inspiration. Go ahead. Then Adam became a what? Living soul. So if God breathed into Adam 
of his inspiration, what did Adam become? A oh, God with a little G. And if Adam submits to God, him and God can become one. Come on. And that's what I'm telling you. If you submit, to you and God can become one. Right. And if you stay into submission to God, you can become a real OG. Right. Original God. Yes, sir. Come on. So you're getting close to who you are. You just got to get through gangster. Yes, sir. But God is a gangster, too. Ask the devil. Come on, now. <laughs> so I thank Allah for coming to us in the person of Master Farid Muhammad. Yes, sir. He raised for us a Georgia-born black man by the name of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Go ahead. That man, Elijah Muhammad, was so wise. You need to get to know him. Yes, sir. God promised. Moses in the book of Deuteronomy that his people was going to go into bondage again. Yes, then he said to him, and when I find them, I'm going to raise one from among them. And that man was the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes. And in the absence of the honorable Elijah Muhammad, he too was so wise because of his submission. His mind was like the womb of a woman that he from his mind could produce a son. And he produced a son like a rod of iron. And I love this son that he produced because when his name is mentioned, it scares white people. And anything that scares them make me feel good. Oh, y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all so soft as a son. We hard on each other on, now. Oh, no. But we get scared when somebody anger white people. Right. Oh, yeah. right. The white man been getting away with murder all of his That's life. Right. Right. Huh? He beat the hell out of us for 400 years. And we don't want to see no suffering come to him. We rather suffer before he do. Right. Well, not me. Yeah. Come on. people will get what they have deserved. Right. The scripture said like this, as thou has done, so shall it be done unto thee. Those who took people into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what they're afraid of. So I thank Allah for this man called Farrakhan. Yes, sir. Y'all worship him to me. Come on, come on. No, we don't worship him. The problem with black people, you've never seen a black man loving a black man. Go ahead. I love Minister Farrakhan. Yes, and guess what? I'll give my life for Minister Farrakhan. And the word that we speak. And if I need to. I will take a life Go ahead. for anybody who tries to attack that man. He'll show you what to do. Because he's getting tired. Yes, a showdown is coming. Go ahead. That's why we're in our uniform. Go ahead. Black man, where's your uniform? Yes, Uncle Farrakhan wants you. Go ahead. So in their holy and righteous names. Let me greet you, my beautiful family. What a wonderful people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at the black man. Yes, sir. Oh, but look at the black woman. Yes! Look at the black man, the red man. We are all family. Divided by our open enemy. Yes. So I want to greet all of you in one of your native tongues. Come on. 
Don't think that those white Arabs you see over in Arabia is the real Arab. We got to have another conversation with you. Everybody done stole our birthright. We get ready to get it all back. Yes. But right now we're going to deal with this white man in America. We're going to get with them Arabs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as we unite the streets, because I got to take some heavy hitters with me. Yes. We greet you all in the greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Well, yes. Brothers and sisters, how y'all feeling today? Fine, sir. I want to thank Allah for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart for investing in me. Yes, sir. For when I met him, I was a dope dealer. Come on, come on. Yeah. When I met him, I was robbing people. Come on, come on. Yeah. You didn't know that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, brother. Well, I love the nation. We are not some people that fell down Come on, together. Bro. We came up out together. Come on. Let's go. We love the You know why I love the nation? We don't walk around self righteous. Talking about I'm saved. And can't save no damn man. We don't ride by our people. We come to you. Y'all get tired of us sometimes. We take your mockery. You don't even know you're talking to killers. Because God has transformed us in front of you. So you take our kindness for a week. I wouldn't advise you to F with us. I wouldn't advise you. I just wouldn't advise Because you can't kill a person that's not afraid of death. Go Come on. So, I thank you for investing in me. A womanizer. Mm. Nobody didn't say you could be that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, God allow you to go through things. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Right. Because to the degree that you can be wicked, yes. mm. it's to the degree that he can bring you all the way hey. to the top of righteousness. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Huh? Because when God flips a pimp, man. Come on, huh? man. he now becomes to the degree what he was to the streets, he becomes that for God. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So instead of talking a woman into taking her clothes off, he talk her into putting them on. Go ahead. Go ahead. But check this out. He don't, he don't lose his militant propensity. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, a real man of God, you know not to mess with. Right. Go ahead now. Come on. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. I thank you, Minister Farrakhan, for not just taking me out of a wicked world of sin. Come on. Come on. Come on. But I thank you for looking past my faults right. 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 Yeah. and tending to my precious need and the essence of who I am at the core of me. All right. I'm a little God. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. Thank you, Minister Farrakhan, for not teaching into my condition. Right. You went around my condition and you spoke to my soul. Right. Go ahead. Thank you, Brother Farrakhan. Thank you that you allowed me to help you, but you raised me by God's permission in stages and degrees, one stage after another one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Until one reached eventual perfection. Right. You allowed me to make mistakes on my post. Go ahead. Go ahead. When many wanted me gone, you Man. said, oh, stay right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah. Oh. 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 Thank you, Brother Parker. Even when I was sent to L.A. 25 years ago, I fell a couple of times in front of you. Yes, 
Right. And he right. just dusted me off. Thank you. Right. Right. Put me right back. Why'd you do that, brother minister? Because yeah. if I would have, the place where I sent you, Ooh, I sent you to a den of devils. That's fact. Do y'all like that part? <laughs> <laughs> I sent you to a city of lost angels. So the Holy Quran said, if they was angels, I would have sent them an angel. Oh, yeah. Look, we so wicked in L.A., we couldn't handle an angel. Man. So Allah said, since you are a mortal, I just sent you a mortal man like you who makes mistakes. But if he stay in submission to me, he would fall and you'll see him rise again. I thank him for giving me the kind of heart to where... I don't mind telling you my mistakes if you that kind of snoopy person. <laughs> if you so damn nosy. <laughs> Go on, you want to know where, what sins you committed? Come, come, come with me to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, really, man, you become a doo doo sniffer. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell it like you did. Hey. Always trying to find what's wrong with a person. Come on, now. When you really should be trying to find what's right with a person. Oh. Oh. Most of us, you remind me of an alley dog. Always got his head in a garbage can. Go ahead. So come on, come on to the bathroom with me. I'll defecate all my sin. Go ahead. I know, I know I made that a messed up image. That's why I love the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. When you join the nation, we are told not to be little Columbuses. Go ahead, teach on that. We have a lesson that says, why did we let half original man Columbus discover the poor part of the planet Earth? Because the black man. We is the God and owner Go of the earth. That's right. We know every square inch of it, and guess what? We don't care about the poor part. Go ahead. See, when most people see gang members, I don't see a gang member. I see God. Come on. I see a general who's don't know who he is. Go ahead. Miss Ledge, come on. Huh? Yes, when I meet a general in the street and he's got a hundred men, three hundred men following him, he's stronger than the preacher. Come on. Think about it. But when you flip that general and teach that general who he really is, you got something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I thank a lot. I thank him for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I want to say this to our open enemy. Let him know. We know what you're trying to do. Yes. Wow. Yes. Let me ask y'all. Yes, sir. If this enemy is allowed to kill Farrakhan, what you gonna do? Don't, don't say that. Don't, don't say that. Good question. Just think. Good question. They kill their last black man. Right. Go ahead. They killed Dr. King. This one. I don't think you want to go there. Wow. You don't. You don't. I want to thank the laborers. I want to thank the student minister, Brother, Brother Anza from the Antelope Valley. Nation of Islam is your example. Mm -hmm. All of us in the nation, we were from different tribes. Yeah, yeah, right. But it was Islam that united our hearts. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Huh? yes sir. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, Brother, Allah is making LA the example. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
There's a scriptures, homies, Listen. that reads like this. The sun would be seen rising in the west in the last day. Yes. Do you know that the streets of LA controls the streets all over the country? Listen, I'm gonna say that again. Go ahead. Sir. Yes, sir. But what you got to do, brother, you and I, we got to take our spirit, we got to take our energy, we got to take our heart, and we got to take our mind out of the hands of white people. What, what, what are they doing with it? They have made you and I into themselves. We have become their patriot missiles. So in our ignorance, we now have become the new Ku Klux Klan. Right. Just think with me. What is the color of the clans? Come on. Red and blue. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. That's enough. Logo. Go get that rebel flag. Go ahead. Mm. Stars and bars. <laughs> I'm gonna get you pictures of the original clan. They, they, they used to throw signs. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Do you know psychologically when you are beat or dominated, you take on the personality of anyone who dominates you? Mm. Think, think. If your mama dominated you at six years old, you're gonna become your mama. Go ahead. When you wanna control your children, you're gonna go into her personality. Sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing the talking? Go ahead. You better not move, I'll beat the black off you. <laughs> Who's doing the talking? Go ahead. You get into a game, the brother that beat you in, that's who you try to act like. Go ahead. You little low, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and you start acting that way for 20 years, it develops a cell. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. And once it develops a cell, it's in your sperm, brother. It's in your egg, sister. So now you are perpetually birthing devils. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But that cell, the light that's in that cell can be interfered with. Yes, it can be removed. Yes, Go ahead. And it's in our lesson and it reads, why does Muhammad and any Muslim murder the devil? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. There's a part of your mind that can be removed. Mm. It is the seat of false emotions. Mm. Fake dramatization. Come on, go ahead. Come on, man. You know, dude ain't never been hard all his life. Come on now. And he leave LA and go to Georgia and start claiming he a rolling 60 and he done fool the country boy. Come on. But out here he was a damn buster. Go ahead.
Go ahead. But she was really looking for the God in you. And when you can't control her with your wisdom or your productivity, then you end up doing to her what you've seen others do to their girls to get them in control. Come on, come on. I want to say this to the homies. Brothers, we yes, cannot go down that road no, sir. and mistreat our women. Yes, sir. Do you know the white man fear that black and brown people is outpopulating him? Yes, that's right. That's right. Back. Do you know that when God ever want to give a race a favor, he always go to the female? Yes. Oh, yeah. She it. is the manufacturing plant of God. Yes. But if you have gotten involved in sex trafficking, sex trafficking is it's worth billions of dollars. When I see something making that kind of money, I know the Jews are involved. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Our sisters that's in foster care, on, they dried up the drugs. Oh, and now you are entering into pimping. Man. And you selling black girls to white people, the Armenians, the Russians, oh, and the Germans. Yes, we're going to yes, hopefully sir. try to teach you to stop you. But one day we're going to get strong. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. And any brother we catch pimping black women or brown women, we're going to kill you. Hey. Yes, sir. 
So let us give thanks to Allah for our dear brother in Compton, Marshall, and Mr. Jordan's here. And Mr. King. tech people. <laughs> Anybody that knows how to do sound and tech, um, we, we got an application out. <laughs> and I'm going to fire the ones that we have. <laughs> certainly at this moment is trying to live up to. Yes, the minister called me and asked me, brother, you been studying that name? Mm -hmm. Abdul Mali. It's quite scary. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. That if you go into the 43rd surah, of the Holy Quran, the goal, section seven. Malik, I ain't saying I am. Come on, come on. Boy, but if I submit. If you keep following that man, I believe I will become. You will, yes sir. That type of man. Come on. Malik was one who used to, or not used to, but he masters the law of recompense. Wow, yes, and he settles differences. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wow. I've been doing that since I've been here. Yes, sir. Yeah. In fact, when Minister Farrakhan sent me here, he said, brother, don't let me catch you in Hollywood. Right. Mm -hmm. I went up there a couple of times. Ain't gonna <laughs> Couldn't have, it, couldn't have, but I had to go star games until I realized I was a star. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. oh, I have to admit, I was up there a time or two, brother. As a, he said, "No, brother, where I better catch you is in the streets." Oh, yeah. He said, "When the streets in Hollywood will come to you." Yes. He said, but it takes a special man with a special kind of love to win the trust of the streets of L.A. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because right. the brother, he said, L.A. can read you, brother. All right. Go ahead. All them homies in the street, they'll read you real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. And they'll tell you straight up, nigga, you don't get up out of here. Get that bullshit. Yeah. They don't care who you are, preach. I done seen them running preachers out there throwing the Bible at them. Messing up their dumb and old game. Come on. Come on, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You don't get out of here taking my grandmama money, nigga. Come on. We got church going on over here, nigga. I'm trying to get the homies to pay me tithes. Can you imagine trying to win that? Wow. Go ahead. Good job. He said, in order for you to do it, your love has to be so huge mm. that you gotta love them more than they hate themselves. Then he said, I want you to be able to take their abuse because they're gonna abuse you first. They're gonna take you for a phony. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tony. <laughs> telling you, we've been in the backyards of homies right before they getting ready to go kill, locking and loading, and I'm like, no, and they pull it out on me, nigga, if you don't move, mm -hmm. you do what go you got to do, brother. Right. But I can't let you go, how you, who you going to kill? We going to kill such and such and such, how you know they did it? Nigga, we know what them nigga. Mm -hmm. How do you know? We know it. How do you know, brother? Do you have any intelligence? Did you see him doing it? How do you know it wasn't Napoleon? Oh, Go ahead. I'm not saying not to do it. 
but show me the proof that they did it. Ah. Look, right today, right today, I can roll over into the rolling 60s neighborhood and shoot up everybody and go home and they're going to go right to the Hey, Y'all know. Go ahead. Where they gonna go? Hey, Trey. Come on. Straight up. You know, they ain't even investigating. I ain't from no damn where. Go ahead. And I started y'all warring again. Mm -hmm. okay. On the basis of a lie. That's right. Man. That's why you kill us. Man, that's why y'all need to let us train you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you gonna be in the hood and somebody driving? How did they get out? Right. Mm -hmm. Try to do something around here and see if you get away. Yeah, come on, come on. We got brothers posted everywhere. Everywhere. That's y'all problem. Don't nobody want to be posted. Everybody want to be high. Uh, we can shoot you. You ain't seen nothing. Everybody. Yes, sir. How did a man get down the streets? It should have been a brother on both corners. Even if they shoot, they ain't getting out. Go ahead. As soon as they shot, they got blocked in. But I don't want to train you to help you kill your brother better. I want to train you to help you save your brother. Nine. Malik in Surah 43, the wicked call for Malik. Mm. Mm. Just go read it for yourself. Man, come on. Malik was an angel who was placed over the gates of hell. Mm. Malik was one, he was either pulling you out of hell or locking you in. Wow. Mm. And I've been trying to do that all my life, man. I love us. Right. Malik also is one who, when you sin and you beating yourself, he lessens your evil against yourself. Wow. Because Malik, he's like one who opens his own heart. Brother, you know, if I can come out of it, hell, you can come out of it. If I can give up dope, I know it's quick money, it's fast money, but it ain't good money. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So I'm praying, man. Pray for me, too. Yes, sir. That I can live up to such a name. Yes, sir. Then he said, brother, did you look up Saeed? I was scared. <laughs> when I looked that name up. Me? <laughs> Try to be that? <laughs> Saeed is one who masters, he's Lord, one who's placed over the sovereignty of others and can be trusted. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Well, I know. You may not trust me up in here with the hypocrites. <laughs> no. Come on. Go ahead, go ahead. But the minister said the streets trust you, brother. Yes, sir. I bear witness. I've never betrayed them. I've never come to them with something I can give them false. There's some lies out there about me, but they lie on every damn lie. That's right. 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 Their whole world is a world of lies. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, but he also said, I see LA healing. Mm -hmm. The believers. Yes. All right. He said, y'all are about to do something big in L.A. And when I say L.A., that means Compton, too. That means Long Beach, too. That means the I.E., too. That means Antelope Valley. So, my subject today is titled The Victory Lab. Y'all stuck on Nipsey. <laughs> no, Nipsey is stuck on us. Ah, Let me say this. Unbeknownst to some of you, he sought counseling from us. Go ahead, go ahead, facts. I didn't talk about it. 
Because I'll help anybody that called me. But after me and a few brothers almost lost our life on the dime in the rolling 60s neighborhood years ago, coming to tend to them when one of your homies was killed and the devils knew he was still alive. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And they let him die. Go ahead. We showed up. Come on. And at a prayer vigil, the enemy, the police came and almost hit some of the people at the prayer vigil, and I stepped off the sidewalk to deal with them crap. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And they get out of the car, locked and loaded. I'm like, officers, is everything all right? He said, get your back. Oh, they tried to pump me, y'all. In front of the homies. That's right. <laughs> I'm in the hood, one of the strongest hoods of black soldiers we got that's fighting the wrong war. Go in, go in. That part. I said, either I'm gonna let this little cracker pump me. But Muhammad don't make no pump. <laughs> I'm Minister Tony Muhammad because I was a part of the clergy council, and this is what they taught us to say when a cop <laughs> do something. I'm, I'm trying this stuff. Right, right. <laughs> Officer, I'm Minister Tony Muhammad of the Nation of Islam. <laughs> Could you tell me what's wrong? He said, I'm going to tell you one more every yeah. time. Get back. Come on, come on. Come on. So now they have a while, my brother starts circling the police. That's right. That's right. That's right. The first thing we do is do it right next to their gun. That's, right. That's how we're trained. We don't carry weapons, but we'll take yours. Right. 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 Go ahead. I ain't trying to brag So I took a half a step back. I couldn't take a whole step. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I'm trying to do the 77 training. <laughs> when that didn't work, I said, sir, would you get your watch commander here because I see you having a bad day. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you one more damn time, if you don't get back, mm. and I ain't moved, and the brothers got tight on them. Mm. So I went into my phone, because at that time I had Chief Bratton's number. I went to call Chief Bratton personally. He didn't pick up. His second in command picked up. Mm. And I told him we were having a problem. We had a prayer vigil, and your men will not answer not one of my questions. Mm -hmm. Then he said, turn around and get his name and badge number. And when I turned around, they pepper sprayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they attacked us, and the yeah. FOI whooped their ass. <laughs> Their uniform, took their radio, took oh. their gun, took oh. their. I had the damn bag. Oh, man. The brothers took me off the scene. I mean, we don't play. Go ahead. And the homies saw that, and then the homies started throwing rocks. Little did I know, Nipsey Hussle was one of the teenagers throwing rocks at the police. Go ahead. What happens to us? In the rolling 60s name. Go ahead. I'm not lying. That's real. If you don't believe me, I posted him talking about it. That's right. Facts. Ain't got a lie. We have a beautiful relationship with every hood. Right. Yes, sir. That's facts. All hood. It's just that there's something special happened in the rolling 60s neighborhood. You in scripture. Man, go ahead now. <laughs> rolling 60s in scripture? Yeah, right. In Revelation, for him that has wisdom, let him count the number of the beast. Mm. 
for it is the number of a man. Six hundred, three score, and six. It is the number of a man, but it's also the number of a beast. And the beast got us acting like a beast until we meet a man and we'll come out of the small six and become the big six. Good. So, 2014, Trayvon Martin's mother come and I find out at that time that Nipsey was on the dime when we fought the police. And he told me. And then he pulled me to the side and said, brother, my father, when we were children, used to bring my brother and I to the corner and he would make us watch the brother sell papers and pies and then say, now that's discipline. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. Yep. Right on Slauson and Crenshaw. Oh, we smoke some bean pies. Oh, we used to love it when y'all smoke that weed, boy, because no pie. Hey. Hey. at least two or three times a year he would call me to get some spiritual advice. And every time he would call me, I would say, brother, do you know who you are? I said, you're a general, brother. I said, you'll wake up soon. And he would ask me advice, man. How do I rise above this, man? How do I bring this together? How do I do my deal? And I'm giving them the best advice I know how. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know that it was really setting in with him because I didn't follow him. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then I remember one day my son was going to the studio because Nipsey said, oh, I also I do music with your son. I'm like, damn, that's why he be so high. <laughs> strong arm up on me. <laughs> I had to show my son something one day. You know, brother, y'all think y'all can handle your daddies. Why hit that boy in his chest so hard? <laughs> I knocked all that weed up. <laughs> yes, sir. My son in college. I love our children. I don't care yeah, what they right, do. Right. Yes, sir. So what they do. And I'm saying to all the babies in the nation, when you get tired of that, come on home. Right. Come on home. Nobody going to judge you. Right. Right. You got time to. Come on. Y'all saw us. Y'all know the ones of us, even that say, Asalaamu Alaikum, you see us at home drinking. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Y'all act like you're righteous. You know I'm talking about sister. Your, your daughter see you when you take that headpiece off. You know you got two headpieces. They watch what we look at on TV. No, they be in the back saying they ain't no damn. Okay, let me get my. The victory. Laugh. Yes, sir. This devil has banned Minister Farrakhan on Facebook 
and Insta Dan. I mean, Graham. <laughs> Do you know that they know that Facebook and Instagram is a drug? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. That's a fact. For the scriptures say, at the end of time, on that day, men and women would be lovers of themselves. Right. Go ahead, now. Go ahead. Man, teach on that scripture. And God has put a bit of him in every human being. He's put a bit of himself in every right. human being. All right. Yes, sir. And do you know every human being that is born have a natural desire to be known? Come on, come on. Think about because it. God is a God that want to be known. Yes. Yes, sir. And he's also a God that likes to know. He hates mystery. Go ahead. Yeah. And wherever there's a mystery, he hates it so much, he has to put some there, even though nothing may not be there. He has to make something there. Right. Just like you hate the darkness. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. I don't care how big of a killer you is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still something about that damn dark part. You ain't gonna just go through that part without holding your things out. <laughs> Remember you as a child, it's dark, and somebody saying, let's go over there. What did you put there? A boogeyman. Yeah. Because yeah. you hate mystery, so you have to put something there. Right. That's the way we misjudge people. Right. You see somebody. Come on. You see a sister. Come on now. She looking good. <laughs> Got long real hair. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. She ain't said nothing. She just walked in the room. But because you don't know her, she's a mystery. You have to perceive what kind of woman that is. And then here you go with the other in your clique. Look at her. Go ahead. She thinks she better than us. They said that. Look at her. Look at her looking at everybody. You don't even realize she's blind. <laughs> but because a part of you hate mystery, you perceive, and most of the time, you put a lie out there. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sister looked at you and said, look, look at how she's looking at me. Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> look at me like she want to do something. Oh, Damn girl, caca. <laughs> Roll it up. Brother, brother, come in the, in the hood and you straight up. You don't even know this dude. Oh, I don't even know him. Come on. The dude is from Buck Tucks, Mississippi. Go ahead. Just came out here to visit his grandmama. Go ahead. But you looking at him. Okay. He's a mystery to you, so you have to put something right. Go, Go ahead. Go ahead. Good teacher. Man. And you put a lie there. Mm. Then you go, nigga, where you from? How you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm from Mississippi. Now yeah, you Mississippi dead, nigga. Because <laughs> God hate a mystery. Right. That's why the Holy Quran said, I have made you into tribes and families. That you may get to know one another. Go ahead. Because when you know one another, you can't despise each other. Woo. See, so sister, when you see a sister instead of a mystery and you start perceiving wrong, go to her real quick, close ranks. Right. Say, sister, may I help you? Wait till you get an attitude before you profess she got one. Right. Come on now. See? Come on. Brother in your hood, hey homie. You all right? How you doing, my brother? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm here in Mississippi. 
<laughs> he don't know he should be wearing those colors. Right, right, right. Go ahead. So before you killed him, the spirit of investigate should have been there. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So God has made us into tribes and families that we may know one another so that we won't despise one another. See, when you get to know some about a person, it's hard to hate them. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, that sister who's standoffish to you, but you don't realize that's her protecting mechanism. Because she's been abused. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's been misused. She's been robbed. Everybody, she's got long hair, so she hide it. Right. Go ahead. Because she's among the short hair squad. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. You look at a dark-skinned woman, a brother, we catch hell in a light-skinned world. Yes, sir. And guess what? A light-skinned person Go is ahead. catching hell now because black is in. Go ahead. Thank God for Brother Tyree who brought black back in. See how we all messed up? The victory. Surah 48 in the Holy Quran is called the victory. I mean, look at this young brother, Nipsey Hussle. He gets murdered at 33 years old. Three plus three is six, rolling 60s. Two weeks before he's murdered, he go to many other neighborhoods, plenty jury on to offer his life. Went by himself. Yes, sir. According to his brother and others. Go ahead, go ahead. And the minister was saying, see, he he had he knew something. He wanted to unite the tribe. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you know that Surah 33 in the Holy Quran is titled The Allies? Go ahead. Go read the chapter, go read the commentary before the chapter. Because, see, the Jews uh -oh. Come on. Come on. had gotten with the Confederates and some of the other idolaters. Their whole mode of operandi was to destroy the nation of Islam. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, don't, I need y'all to listen. Come on. Come on now. I said to the minister, I said, brother minister, I feel that the enemies was getting ready to move on the games like they never seen before. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They had already sent their national guards. They had already, every game, neighborhood, Minister Farrakhan told me to warn you, every homie ain't a homie. Go ahead, go ahead. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. I want you to listen. How many homies was facing a case? Go ahead. Eight counts of murder. Come on, think about it. But all of a sudden, that nigga beat the case. Man, yeah, 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 come on. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, Brother, what did they do to him in the basement? Mm. Under them hot lights. Man, put that jacket on. Come on. He said, How many of us, what would we do to keep from facing 80 years in prison? Man. He said, then they turn that man informant, then they tell him what names they want him to get. Right, come on, right. come on. But they don't. Come on. Then they give him easy access to drugs, guns, and everything. Now, homie shows up to the hood, say, nigga, I beat that cave. <laughs> That's what they do. Go ahead. Not that, not that if he beat it, he become the enemy now. Come on. Come on. But there's some that's in the hood that was came right from the FBI office. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Bear witness. Go ahead. Come on. Do you know that every 10 homies, two is an FBI agent? Think about that. Think about that. It's 20%. Come on. Nation two, they up in here. Go ahead. Yep. You know what their job is? To cause trouble among the righteous, telling lies. And because in the nation, we hate the restrictive law, and we done got caught up in it, it's no snitching. Right. 
Come on, come on. We are told in the nation report all weakness, slackness, and wrongdoing. Now, some of you don't do it because they know you're doing wrong, so wrong plus wrong keep you from talking. Yeah. Come on. Do you know in the nation of Islam, when a brother bring you something negative about listen, another brother, listen. that brother is supposed to be there. Listen, That's right. Talk to him. That's right. Come on. Talk to if he come to me talking about another brother, he better have that brother with him. Right. Bust him in his damn mouth. Right. Go ahead. Even if I got a problem with a brother, I don't supposed to let him bend my ear. I don't need you to develop no more damn problem with me and him. That's right. right. Nigga, why you bringing that to me anyway? Right. 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 See, what's your motive? That's right. That's right. 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 Sister, what's your motive for calling me talking about another sister? I was minding my own damn business. I'm in here cooking some bean soup. A whole box of cayenne. <laughs> <laughs> See, in the nation, we don't do that. We have rules. We have law. Go ahead. We have manners. Who it got quiet up? Yes, sir. <laughs> So the Holy Quran said, when an unrighteous man brings you negative news, Here, go. look careful Here, into the person go. that brings you the news, right. lest you hurt somebody in ignorance. That's right. Hey, sorry, right. teacher. What you do? Man, we done went over to somebody else's hood because he didn't like the peace, so he he, he wanna dramatize. He ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> so he done went to a hood causing trouble, and then he run back to the hood. Ain't told y'all nothing. Man, come on. Man. Wow. Now here come a carload of people and he even warned you. Man. Man. He wanted to get it kicked back up. Go ahead. So he set the homies up for murder and he's at the damn funeral crying crocodile tears. Man. Uh. You teach. Man, you teach. That's us. Come on now. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. That crap is in the nation. Yes, sir. Don't act like we holy brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the enemy hate the nation of Islam. He's right. got FBI agents up in here. Right now. Mm. Talking against leadership. <laughs> As if the talker is better than what's in leadership. Wow. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let me get with white people. No, no, no. You on it? I'm on it because I'm talking to white people. Ah, right, right. uh, yeah. You black, but you got a white mind. Uh, Victory lap. Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. What time is it? One o'clock. Can y'all give me 15 minutes? Yes, sir. No, I'm going to take my time and hurry up. Sewer 48, the victory. Nipsey gets murdered at 33. 33, chapter 33 is titled The Allies because the Jews had planned to squash and kill Islam altogether. But in the middle of him attempting to do that, a Hudabah truce took place. So when you go to Suri, for, Surah 48, now here's Brother Nipsey. He got a song called Victory Lap. Go ahead, go ahead. And right when the enemy thought he was going to crush Islam, Man. Allah raised Islam. Go ahead, go ahead. In LA. Then Allah took this ragtag group called the Nation of Islam. Go ahead. We in the mosque. This is a bathtub. We crazy in here. Man, man. Come on. No, no, I'm being honest. The nation of Islam is a mental hospital. Right. Straight up. 
Yeah. It's a place where people who have amnesia come. They lost their name. They lost their language. They Good. lost their religion. They lost their culture. They lost their way. So the teachings of the honorable Elijah Muhammad is an amnesia remover. That's right. That's right. So when you come in the nation, you learn who you are. You learn who the white man is. And when we learn who he is, we tell him, man. We don't hold back. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. They don't never say we lying. No. No. Have you ever seen white people when the nation walk in the room, they get nervous? Yeah. Why? You should like it. <laughs> he said, oh my God. <laughs> the nation of Islam is here? <laughs> now, I remember I used to go into meetings at Interscope Record with that cracker. What's that I little cracker name? Jimmy yeah. I.B. Jimmy I. Bean, little Jew. Go ahead. I used to walk in, but just check him. Because <laughs> he was calling some of the rappers boys. I'm not going to tell you the rapper. I'm sitting this cracker this big. And I saw a rapper. He had this rapper hole in his foot. No, he said, man, my feet hurt. Took his shoe off and, and put his foot in the rapper's lap. I said, I said, hold on, cracker. I said, brother, don't be holding that cracker foot in your lap, man. To hell with him and his money. That's, look, that's why they got a lot of the nation of Islam out from around entertainers. Because they know we see him. Come on now. Yeah. The victory lap. Yeah. So here's a brother coming up with a song called the victory lap. Mm. Because the minister said we've allowed envy Man. Mm -hmm. to get in our hearts for our own people, brothers wow. and sisters. Wow. That's right. That's right. If you get the song Victory Lap, he was talking about putting the devil back in the hole. That's right. That's right. He was saying, I'm prolific now. Go ahead. What made him prolific? Because he had read message to the black man. Yes. And he prided himself on reading that section on the economic blueprint by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's right, sir. That's right. He would call me and say, man, I like this part, the economic blueprint. I can do this to help the homies. I said, brother, if you do that, you be the man. That's Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Come on. Yes, sir. Not that he was perfect. No, who's perfect? That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Jeez. The only thing perfect is Allah. The only thing you should trust is God. I even tell my wife, don't be looking for me okay. to totally trust me. I would, you a fool if you totally trust me. I'll disappoint the hell out of you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You sitting there lying, baby, you can trust me. No, don't. No, she can't. <laughs> no, really. And guess what? You can't trust her. Right. Not with all your trust. Good. That only goes to God. Yeah. Now, now, if, if she's fulfilling her godly duties and you your godly duties, now in that I can trust you. Good. Good. But once I start seeing you weak on God, Woo! I better get word. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh-oh, that nigga done stopped praying. Uh-oh, he done stopped going to the mob. That means he ain't gonna come home. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where were you? I was at the studio. Nigga, you a lie because I was sitting outside the studio. Y'all know these sisters are the hell of investigators. You can't cheat on this. My wife broke every code in my iPhone. <laughs> Go ahead. Even when I got the handprint part, I sleep too damn hard. She took my finger and put it right on me. Oh, look at her. And that face recognition done messed us up. As soon as you wake up, nigga, who is Heather? Then y'all start cold naming a mama. 
But to you, mate, mama one, mama two, mama three, mama four. How many mamas you got? Look, one brother switching up his codes on his phone. I ain't even got to my son. No, you own it. You own it. No, but brothers and sisters, we family. Yes, sir. Is what I'm saying. I put my trust totally in God. Because when I start trusting outside of that, I can't be disappointed. So I, I, I allow, I look for my wife to have her moments. Man, she ain't got to be perfect. You couldn't take perfect. Brother, this thing is not working yet. Now, do you know why they fear this man? Go ahead. Minister Farrakhan, this past February, told the world who he is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, in Surah 48, there's two things that the Jews fear about the Muslims. They feared the sword. Yes, sir. Go ahead. They would use that against us. Yes, sir. And the domestic life of the messenger. Go ahead. Not in a literal sword, but a tongue is like a sword. Yes, right. They fear the tongue of this man. Come on, come on. So in social media, to say that Minister Farrakhan is dangerous, the question is, dangerous to who? Right. Oh, now. Right. Good question. No. He's dangerous. And I watch some of you Negroes, Farrakhan is oh. dangerous. Oh. Nigga, shut up. That's right. That's right. I wish I would catch you in the barbershop again. <laughs> no. Minister Farrakhan is dangerous to a Negro who's trying to help white people keep us oppressed. Right. Here's the man, God, he asked for a million, God give him two million, the most peaceful demonstration in the world because he united black men. They fear him, he's dangerous because he can unite black, brown, and red men. If I was white, yes, you are. I would be scared too. Yeah. Go ahead. Remember I was telling you about that mystery? Mm -hmm. Minister Farrakhan said the biggest fear of white people, and I've tested this, mm -hmm. that they feel that one day on. we're going to come into power and do to them what they did to us. You know what they feared about him coming to L.A.? Come on. Just when they was getting ready to crush the nation, the hoods united. Come on. Go ahead. And guess what they know you got? Gun. Ah. That's right. Come on, come on. And if this man can unite you, now you in this army. Come on. on. And he's white. Guess what he's thinking? He's thinking like he thinks. He's wicked. He's a murderer. So he thinks you're gonna murder him. And we are. We're gonna murder the white man, but we're gonna kill him out of our head. This way I'm gonna kill the cracker ass right here. That white man that's in my car box. I'm gonna murder that. I'm gonna murder Santa Claus, that crack. Right. Murdering that. I'm murdering the good tooth fairy. Then I'm gonna murder Heather and Chelsea. <laughs> No black man should be riding around his car with a skunk. Go ahead. Brother, how we gonna give up Sinead for heaven? Go ahead. Heaven can't give you yourself back. Only thing she can give you is a mutt. Damn child don't know what it is. <laughs> Got a skateboard on one foot. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Taylor's on the other foot. He's a blood cracker. Luke 
2.23. And the whole multitude of them arose. Something happened in L.A. Go ahead. That's right. Nipsey is murdered. Come on, come on. We didn't realize the power that God had given him until now he's murdered. Mm -hmm. He's assassinated. Go ahead. And the multitude rose. Go ahead. The first time in the history of L.A., we stand up on the basis of a black man killing a black man. First time. Go ahead. Tragic, but beauty. Tragic, but beauty. You got to find a silver lining. It was in the Rolling 60s neighborhood. Come on, come on. Allegedly, it was one of their own. Come on. Now, they couldn't go on the war packer. They would have went on the damn yeah. war packer. Right. And went into action. Yes. But Allah said he froze them. Yeah. Mm. In their emotions. Yeah. Mm. And while the rolling 60s got frozen in their emotion, even other enemy hoods had sympathy. We never seen that. Go ahead. I was getting some new calls. There's a sister who was very instrumental in pulling the streets together. Sister, y'all can pull stuff together when you want to. And you can tear it up too. But some of y'all is a part of the hood problem. <laughs> And the multitude arose. But they're talking about Jesus being led to Pilate. And they begun to accuse him, saying, mm -hmm. talking about Jesus, far come. Mm -hmm. yes, we found this fellow perverting the nation mm -hmm. and forbidding to give to white folks, I mean to Caesar, oh, yeah. <laughs> saying that he himself is Christ a king. Oh, right. mm -hmm. Come on. Minister Farrakhan is a king. Yes. And Pilate asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? Yes. And he answered him and said, Thou said it. Then said Pilate to the chief priests, meaning the Jews, and to the people, I find no fault in this man. Mm -hmm. Soon as Instagram and Facebook banned him, mm -hmm. Pilate, Trump, go ahead, go ahead. is saying, I'm watching you. Right. <laughs> Trump. It's saying, I don't find no fault in Minister Farrakhan. He has the freedom of speech. Go ahead, go ahead. Man. I know y'all looking at me. What? Oh. <laughs> Trump is good for black and brown unity. Leave Trump the hell alone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I like about Trump? Trump tell black people right to their face, nigga, I don't like you. See, I like that kind of crap. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. I like you. I like anybody that come and say, Brother Tony, I just, I just want you to know I can't stand you. <laughs> you know what I say? Thank you. Now I know. Mm -hmm. Stay your butt over there and get out my damn face while I bust you. <laughs> it's good to know who your enemies are, brother. So I know how to act when I'm around you. I, I know I better be on my post when I see you. I hate the Clinton type crap. Oh, yeah. They pretend oh, yeah. that they are our friends and President Clinton put more brothers in prison than all the presidents combined. So give me Trump any day. Look, and they were the more fierce saying he's stirring up the people. Farrakhan is stirring up the people. Teaching throughout all jury. Question, what is that? Jews. Not just the Jews. See, now we're going to look that word up. Okay. It's going to surprise you. It, in one sense, it is Jews. But it is the Jewish people collectively. But it's a district inhabited mainly by Jews, the ghetto. Go ahead. Come on. They got a problem with anybody who can handle people in the ghetto. Come on. Wow. Nipsey is murdered. No Jesse show up. Al and from I mean Al Sharpton didn't show up. T D Fakes didn't show up. Um, Crevlo need a dollar. Y'all ain't have enough money for him. <laughs> What's 
What's that man down there at uh, uh, West Angeles? No, West Angeles. Ain't Blake Church of God in Christ and on the Christ and over Christ and around the Christ? Where was he? He didn't come and tend to the poor. Where was Christ? Come on. Oh, but Farrakhan. Yes, sir. He came to the ghetto. He took a victory lap in the ghetto. And the minute Farrakhan showed up, it went so viral yes, sir. that the Jews called Facebook and Instagram. They say, shut that nigga out. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know our brother's name means God will rise. Yes, sir. When they murdered him, we saw hoods coming together. What, what did they do? They rose up. Go ahead, go ahead. We saw a miracle. If you would have asked me five years ago, or just last year, out of all the hoods, what two you never see coming together? I would have told you A-Trade Gangsters and the Rolling Six. Only a law. I ain't even go try with them no more. But on that day, three days after his death, he rose on the third day. His spirit, his energy, what he loved was the hood. And remember, Two weeks before he was murdered, he went to different neighborhoods to offer his life with no homies with him. Go ahead, go ahead. What kind of man is that? Go ahead. Some of us ain't riding in nobody hood unless them damn seats led all the way back in a sister drive. Go ahead. I mean, niggas be way back. In there. You think ain't nobody in that seat, brother? See? Oh, I'm not doing it wrong. Right, right. Keep, keep that dome. So in the parking lot, somebody said the A train showed up. Boy, we got nervous as hell. You were there. How many brothers in here from that group, that beautiful soldier group called the Rolling Sixties? Raise your hand. Be scared. Yes, and then go have them. Me too. You're wrong. You affiliated? I'm not affiliated, but I'm with Come on. I'm affiliated. I'm affiliated. I'm not No, nah, I got you, brother. We love you too. Now, check this out. That's right. A showed up. We thought a war was about to break out. Go ahead, go ahead. And they embrace. Listen, listen. The who to buy a truce. Go ahead. Yeah. Took place. Yeah. Then hundreds of other gangs start coming, dropping their rags. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Mexican gangs, we're in. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. Big old Samoan dude. Yes, Good God Almighty. <laughs> You, Brother Muhammad? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we the tongue of Crips. Okay. okay, brother. <laughs> we in too. They women is big. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I wouldn't mess over them. No. They pick you up like me, would you? <laughs> The nicest people you have, they fed everybody. Right, right. I've never seen nothing like this, y'all. Then I'm watching the killer from the rolling 60s refrain. Mm. Go ahead. They had discipline. Go ahead. I said, look at this. Look at God. Come on. Not that they wasn't feeling good. They maybe was going through some mixed emotions. But come on, brother. If you can get, if you can allow your twenty-year enemy a day, right. why right. not? You've allowed your four hundred-year enemy oh. here. Oh. All of this now, not just in LA. They 
They came together in Chicago, New York. Look, they came together in Fort Worth, Texas, some tractor gang members. I'm serious, niggas do drive-by with tomatoes. We're in... Damn, Beverly Hills, Billy Crips. We were witnessing the resurrection of the dead. The cracker started off putting us in chains. That's right. Then he lynched us. That's right. Then he started shooting us and we shooting each other too. Joy. And this is what Farrakhan got to get you up out of. Woo! Right. Yes. Joy. Yes. Yes. Wow. Facts. Look at all that abuse. That's a Frankenstein. Yes. Oh, but he can be reached with a word. Yes. So the sword of the tongue of Farrakhan came. Yes. I just want to show y'all some pictures. Don't forget what these white folks did to you. That's right. Look at it. Think on that. Think on that. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Think on that. They used to hang sisters. This is just in the 60s. Go ahead. You forgot about what white folks did to you? This is in Alabama. What did she do? This is why, brother, when somebody come in our hood after our women, we. Boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wish a white man, I wish I'd catch a crack in the hood picking up a sister. Oh, he gonna get a hard time. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. What, what, what? what you want, buddy? <laughs> I'm here to see Shanae. Say that again. You here to see who? No, look at y'all. Right. I'm gonna get charged for accessory. <laughs> Do you remember? This is the virus that they downloaded into us. Just wanna just show you a few things, and then we out of here. Remember this cracker? Yes, sir. What is his name? You know why they scared of Farrakhan? Because they've been expecting a black messiah. That's right. Go read this in Cointelpro. J. Edgar Hoover feared the rise of a black messiah. Go read it. Look at what they said. When J. Edgar Hoover was asked, what is his opinion? What, in his opinion, was the single greatest threat to the United States of America? He responded, Negro unity. Mm. That's right. it. That's it right there. Wait a minute. Just us coming together? What scared the hell out of y'all? Go ahead. Go ahead. You see why they don't want you coming together? That's Go ahead. Right. When them homies came together, I'm telling you right now, the chief of police was shaking in his boots. Go ahead. Go ahead. Back. <laughs> When that hurts came down, Slauson, mm. oh. and black people was in, they didn't care nothing about no police with them weapons standing there trying to hold a damn line. Mm. Man, niggas was knocking them down. And a police sister grabbed me when we were walking by. A sister, she was shaking like a leaf on the tree. She said, thank you, brother Muhammad. I said, sister, we got you, we got you. You just need to get out of that army and come on and get in this. Yes, White boy was like, Brother Muhammad, thank you. I mean, we stood up on police cars that day. Didn't nobody get arrested. No, no. Now that part felt good. <laughs> Y'all all right? Look at what Jay Google. Look at this. This is about Dr. King. What interest could an intelligence agency have in a man who plainly believed only in peace? In August 1967, four months after King called the U.S. government the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today. King said that about America. Three months after, 30 members of the Black Panther Party marched armed into the California State Capitol. And on the front page of newspapers worldwide, Jericho Hoover, the head of America's domestic law enforcement agency, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, issued the following directive. 
The purpose of this new counterintelligence endeavor yes. is to expose, yes. is to what? Expose. Oh. Disrupt. Yes. Misdirect. Misdirect. Discredit. Discredit. Or otherwise neutralize the activities of black nationalists, hate type organizations, and grouping. I'm saying they did that. Their leadership, spokesman, membership, and supporters. Right. See, so they're supposed to do what? Expose, they're supposed to disrupt the nation, misdirect you from getting in the nation, discredit the nation of Islam, neutralize Farrakhan. You can't do it, crap. Go ahead. Right. Look, he goes on to explain by hate type organization, Hoover explained that he meant such groups as, listen, look at the hate group. The Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. <laughs> King's Southern Christian Leadership Conference. The Congress of Racial Equality. And the Nation of Islam. The group Malcolm X belonged to until shortly before 1965, his 1965 murder. In 1968, there was a massive demonstration in support of the then imprisoned leader, the Black Panther, and Stokely Carmichael, H. Rap Brown merged the snake, mm. which the Panthers, yeah. with the Panthers. Yeah. Right. Look at this. Hoover yeah. issued another directive yeah. prevent yes. the rise yes. of a Messiah mm. who could yeah. unify, who can do what? Unify. unify. And electrify yeah. That's right. the black Military. nationalist movement. Man. Malcolm X might have been such a messiah. Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael, the Nation of Islam leader, Elijah Muhammad, all inspired to this person, but they missed the messiah. Yes. Right. Right. Go ahead. His name is Farrakhan. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And I'm one of his followers, and you should be too. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll get into this next week. Yeah. But they're trying to put out the light. Yes, that's right. mm -hmm. This is the victory lap that they seen happen in LA. Oh, yes. It's the Bloods and Crips coming together at ground zero. Yes. Bloods and Crips from Long Beach, Inglewood, Watts coming together, Compton coming together. Look, in New York, oh, yes. they start taking a victory lap. They tying all this. What you did? Right. Man. But stop doing it for negative, and now let's go get the black man in an empire. Look at all the gang y'all in the IE camp together. Wow. Look. That's why you can't cut Farrakhan off? No, sir. Members of the Nation of Islam, can y'all hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. So Facebook banned Brother Farrakhan, huh? Yeah. Instagram banned him, right? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Have you banned him? No, sir. Go ahead. Okay, don't no, set yourself up for the next thing I'm about to ask. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. We don't need their social media. That's right. We got our own media. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. See, now y'all get quiet because you know where I'm about to go. <laughs> FOI. Yes, sir. You love Farcon? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Have you banned him? No, no sir. sir. Mm. Well, why don't you increase Come on. in carrying the final call news? Yes, yes sir. sir. See, I ain't here to yes, sir. Okay. I'm giving me a stack. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. A final call. That's right. Yes, sir. Victory lap. Yes, sir. Surah 3 called the family of Amron, I close. It's time to come together. Yes, sir. Bloods, <laughs> Crips, SAs. That's our family, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm not going to let you sit here and trip on the brown man. He a nigga, too. Right. Same dog bit them, bit us. This is their land. Yes, sir. I want to see them free. Because yes, I saw a house in Malibu I want. Yeah. <laughs> Surah 3. And hold fast by what? The covenant of Allah altogether. And be not disunited. Yes, sir. 
and remember Allah's favor to you when you were enemies. Oh, but on that day, Come on. Go ahead. third day after Nipsey, you were enemies. Then he united your hearts by his favor and you became brethren. But are there anybody in the hood that didn't like it? I got that old man. I know you in pain. Go ahead, go ahead. But you ain't that mad with white people. Come on, y'all. Man. You ain't mad at that judge that just gave your homie 80 years. Go ahead, go ahead. In fact, when he walked in the courtroom, they said, all rise. You should have sat down, so I ain't getting up. Go ahead. You sitting there calling a man your honor, he give you 80 years. Man. And remember Allah's favor to you when you were enemies, then he united your hearts by his favor. Yes, you became brothers, and you were on the brink of a pit of fire. Go ahead, go then ahead. he saved you from it. Thus Allah makes clear to you his messages that you may be God. Yes. And from among you there should be a party who invite to good and enjoin the right and forbid the wrong. And these are they who are successful. And be not like those who became divided and disagreed after clear arguments had come to them. And for them is a grievous chastisement. This is what he's, this is Fort Worth. Go ahead. These are the country boys. Go ahead. Came together because you stood up. Go ahead, think about it. Think about it. Because Brother Farrakhan talked about a red and blue star appearing together. Yeah. Farrakhan talked about the swallow that travels 600 miles a day and the bird color is red and blue. Yes, the homies heard it. Go ahead. So I'm asking you, yes, how many of you want to see black and brown, all of us come together and be yes, unified? Oh, that's beautiful. Then how many of you believe what you heard today to be the truth and good for us as a people? See, that's what I'm talking about. You believe? Yes, sir. Do you really believe? Yes, sir. Are you scared? No, no sir. Let me see. Then if you're not scared, how many of you want to stand up and join on now? Come on. And join with some bold leadership and let's go get our people. Stand up. Stand up. Don't let me come get you. Stand up. Come on, sister. We can't go to stand up. Stand up. Come on home. That's right. Brothers, bring my brother down. I want to meet him. I want to shake your hand on behalf of the Honorable Minister Jim Farrakhan. Come on, brothers and sisters. You said you believe, so don't sit down now. Come on, let's unite our people. Come on, let's get together. Come on, sister. That's what I'm talking about. Here they come. Here they come. Come on, black woman. We can't go nowhere without you. If I get to heaven and there ain't no black women, I'm coming back to hell. Come on, sister. Come on, brother. Don't make me come at you now. I see you sitting there. Come on, black man. Every black man and woman should be up on your feet. Come on home. Come on, join the nation and learn more about yourself. Don't worry about nothing. We ain't trying to convert you. You are already a Muslim. Brother, bring them on in a little tight. Now, don't make me come get some of y'all. Oh, bang on oh. No. We say all praise is due to others. Look at this. See, they don't like unity. All we teach our weapon is truth. Is there anybody else before this train pull out? People get ready. There's a train of coming to the curse. All you got to do, come on, boy. Come to that long beach. Here come another one. Oh, she went the other way. Oh, that was a good move, sister. That was a good move. Dang it. Come on, sister. That right. Bring the baby with you. Bring the baby with you. Look, anybody else? Come on. Come on now. Brothers and sisters, we want to thank a lot. Yeah. I just want to say to the brothers and sisters who stood up, a bit of caution. Please do not.
come into the mosque looking at people for the right example. I'm just saying, don't do that. Look at the teachings. See, don't let nobody tell you, Brother Farrakhan said, tell them to show you. Because a lot of people that talk to you is trying to get you to follow them. Come on, come on. But one who's trying to get you to follow him would say, see, right here, he said, read. Instead of them talking, read. So get the teachings. Read the teachings, then look at us. See, read the teachings. That brother that brought you in, he might have been practicing Islam on you. Islam. Go ahead. Ooh, I touched on something right here. Let me say that again. That brother. Well, sister, you know the black man is God. No. You come in, you study the teachings yourself. Because we believe that no nation can rise any higher than its woman. That's right. That's right. Even That's in right. our Islamic world. I'm yes, sorry. Sir. I don't look to them for the example. Right. I'm sorry. Straight facts. Come on. I don't like the way they treat women over there. Go ahead. Sir. They come over here with their sexual appetite, want you to be one of their wives. Mm. So they can get a green card. <laughs> Ooh, I wish they come over here with that. These sisters will take that headpiece and choke the hell out of them. I can't even handle one. <laughs> so in that class, it's called MGT. That is a class where the women close ranks with God, not a man. And once you close ranks with God, and you study, and your spirit becomes one with God, then God will add all other things to you. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. That class is every Saturday. Yes, sir. Sister, what's your name? It's Sandra? Ambra Bashir. Ambra Bashir. Mm -hmm. well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Raziel, it's an honor, sister Raziel. And you are? 